We're going to talk about one of the best areas in the game to farm to get legendary items, a lot of quests, tons of experience. Then there's also page drops there that open up a hidden layer so you can go get even more items. And then there are two bosses that spawn in this zone. And you've got to beat these two bosses. They're super easy to beat, but you're going to use the drop from them to increase your combat rating. And they spawn at different times. They spawn by actually getting those pages and getting the tomes open from you going into those hidden dungeons to get all that extra loot. But every once in a while, they will spawn the Hydra or the Golem. And you need that because then you take that loot drop. All you have to do is beat them one time each. And you'll take that and put it into this device, the Legacy of the Haradrim. You also have a quest every single day once you unlock this to come down in here exactly where I'm at. You'll find a whole bunch of just extra enemies that they place here every single day and then you'll open up the chest at the end and those give you resources to level these up and as you can see all the additional damage life armor armor penetration potency which gives you armor and armor penetration you'll level these up so this is a big increase to my combat rating and if you haven't unlocked this yet you will you will unlock it sometime during the story quest then you'll come down here and just make sure you pay attention every single day to the codex and do this it tells you to do it. I've done one of one. I've already completed it for the day. So make sure you get this done. Now let's go over to the best zone that I think there is to farm right now. I do get tired of being in there. I get tired of being in any zone for too long. I like to mix it up. It's also great to be in open world because you're bestuary. You've got to fill that out. You get these orbs, right? Whenever you kill mobs, you've got a chance, a random chance to get this orb off of anything you kill out in the open world. You take 10 of these, you take them over to your best Jerry and you get, I don't know, right now I'm getting 260,000 experience. Plus you get crazy items dropping out of there. I've had so many legendary uniques drop out of there. Legendaries are uniques. So I've had tons of them come from that. You need to make sure that you're doing it every single day. Let's get over to the library so I can show you exactly what I'm talking about with how good the cycle of running through the library is if you do a path around it and then if you want to stay in one area and get crazy experience you can do that as well because the monsters there spawn every second they're just up and spawning there's a lot of people running around there there's a lot of people running around this whole entire zone i'm going to switch over to my controller that's what i'm used to tons of people running around this zone so you're going to run around and as you can see i've got one of five pages once i have all five pages i'm actually going to click on this here and say use and it's going to open up a portal. I go into that portal and I get even more amazing drops. It's a really short dungeon, like a hidden dungeon. And it's got, it's got gems. It's, it, it can drop unique items, of course. It can drop all the good stuff. Here we are with another monster essence. I'm 8 of 10. So once I get 10 of 10, I go over to the best Jerry at camp, anybody's camp. And I drop them off and get that crazy experience. The golem's going to spawn here. So if you're in the zone and you see a countdown saying the golem's going to pop up, then make sure you run over to this platform on the far top north, I guess the way this map is, top right, right there. And then if you see the Hydra is going to spawn, run over to this area here for the Hydra. Now, the ba the battles are, are a joke. They're really a joke. You know, Don't worry about taking damage. Don't worry about uh, being too weak to fight them. There will be other people there. But what I do is I just run around this zone. I collect pages. You're going to see this other little golem. He's a really small one. He's like the steward of the library. He's going to give you those quests to do. Just like really short, short quests. One, he walks you over and you take care of these explosions that are going to happen. There's somebody over there sabotaging the library. There's another one where there's a bookshelf here and you help clean out these mites from the bookshelf. It's all short and simple. So when you see it pop up on the map, make sure you take advantage of doing that. I'm trying to get over in this area out of where I'm at right now so it looks like there's there's plenty of mobs to fight in this area but there are even more just far far more over to the far right over kind of near where the golem is they're undead though they're a whole bunch of undead and they just spawn non-stop so there's always people doing circles but all you have to do is tag one of them that's it you just tag it here he is so this one I need to free him or do something I'm not going to do the whole entire quest with you guys here but look I've got the quest now this one that walks me around and does the bomb stuff. There are these guys everywhere throughout here. And there's chests laid everywhere. I do these quests with them because I'm getting additional experience. I'm getting additional drops. And then as I'm doing that, I'm looking for the pages. Because right now I've got, again, one of five pages. Now, the pages are kind of hard to find sometimes. You can find 
a good cycle. You've got these little dudes. Let me get him. Let's see what we get dropped from the treasure goblin. Nice. But here's the area where everyone farms. This is the part on the map right here. Everyone does a full circle. And again, all you have to do is tag them. So don't worry about killing them. I just come in here and do that. Tag it. Tag it. Run around in a circle. And I just keep tagging them. That's all I do. Run around in a circle. Other people will kill them. Or you'll kill them eventually while you come through here. There are so many that just keep spawning. Just tag them all up. Run in a circle. You will be surprised at the amount of experience you get doing this for 30 minutes. And while you're here, you're waiting for those drops to happen from other people getting those pages. It's all about getting those pages and then opening those secret dungeons. And eventually, one of those secret dungeons will just say that you spawn the Hydra or the Golem. But that's it. This place is amazing. I'm not going to make this video long. Just come in here, get in some groups. You know, you don't even need to be in a group. Just come in here and just make sure you tag it. All you got to do is do a little bit of damage to it. I do damage from this burning trail behind me, so that will be enough to tag it for me to get experience from it and then go back and see what the loot is and just keep doing circles around here and get crazy amount of experience. And if you get bored doing that, which again, I get kind of bored staying in one zone, but I am looking for those mysterious orbs, those monstrous orbs to get 10 of these. And then once you have 10, make sure you turn in. You cannot get more than 10. So make sure you just come back to camp, turn in right there at that book you can see and you'll get to so much experience you need to be doing that already you should know to do that every single day because there are a lot of open world quests to do i love farming in the open world i like going after the named ones you've got blue ones you've got yellow ones and then you do have legendary monsters out there that have very unique drops and almost every time i've beaten a legendary monster they've got that legendary color to it it's not necessarily gold it's kind of like a to me to my eyes it's like a bronze i don't know r dust rust color you know, it's a legendary, but there will be legendary named mobs out here that you kill and you get really high, high chance of getting a unique item drop from it. So this whole area, just go around here, just fight everywhere, look for pages. It doesn't matter where you are. Just find a good path that you enjoy. Go right here if you just want to do circles and get crazy amount of experience with drops. And then again, you've got a boss here and a boss there. And those are for the Hadrodrum. So, so bad at saying that name. You need those pie pieces. All you have to do is get it one time. Beat each of them one time and then get that pie piece, put it in that device, and then every day you're going to level it up. Or at least you're going to go down there daily for that quest and get those keys and then unlock these chests at the end. It's going to ask you if you want to unlock additional chests for platinum. Don't do that. Just use your keys every single day. You'll get resources to level those up and it will greatly increase your combat rating. That's it, everyone. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let me know your thoughts about this zone. I think this zone is a lot of fun. I'll see you all in a video soon.